I'm Emily. I'm Katrin. And we're going to be reviewing mac and cheeses from places around the seacoast. We really love mac and cheese. Um, and this video is going to be a lot like the articles that we've done in the past years at MOR, such as the donut article and the ice cream article. So the first place we're going to be reviewing is the works. Let's get started. Okay, here's our mac and cheese. We are going to do our first reactions. Okay. <laughs> oh, this spoon is really weird. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> For the taste, I would give it like a 9.5 out of 10. I think it's really good. One of my favorite mac and cheeses. Um, for creaminess, I think it's pretty good. I'd give it, I'd give it a 9. Could be a little better, but I think it's good. Um, for presentation, so pretty with the little breadcrumbs on top really makes it. Mm -hmm. And then for the service, very fast, very efficient, maybe because we weren't in a rush, but very good. I would give it for creaminess a nine as well. I definitely think the only thing is the spoon is a little like it dips really far down so you can't get all the creaminess out. So that like takes a point away, but then Okay, what else? Oh, the taste. So the taste is definitely like a 9.5. Like, this is definitely... I've actually never had this before. Yeah. So this was really good. Um, and then presentation was really nice. Like Katrin said, the breadcrumbs were... They're very beautiful. Just like sprinkled on top. And the service was really good. They were really nice. The only thing is, it was really expensive. Yeah. True. Mm-hmm. So that's the service was probably like 8.5 because it was a little expensive. Yeah, I agree with that. And they came in like little boxes. They smell kind of weird. It smells like pizza. A little bit. <laughs> it's kind of weird. Um, yeah, it's low key. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Mine is kind of. <laughs> and it low key looks like just like Stouffer's mac and cheese. That's like a, like a freezer mac and cheese that you just throw in like the microwave. Okay, are we ready? Oh god. Okay. I'm like actually scared so with food scared. poisoning. Me too. <laughs> okay. okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. If this makes sense, I can taste the oven. Uh -huh. <laughs> I can taste the oven, and now I know why there's no one in this parking lot. <laughs> so, for creaminess, this is a solid two. There is, like, it's creamy, but it's not, like, it's not like the other mac and, like, the works that we tried. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the customer service... <laughs> the guy... He was nice. He was nice. He was a little creepy. A little weird. <laughs> um, he did, like, walk out and hand it to us, which was a little strange. Yeah. I mean, you know, whatever. It's probably because we were the only people the, in yeah. there. <laughs> um, yeah. The presentation sucked. Solid zero. Uh, oh, for the customer service, I would say three. The presentation zero. Mine looked like it was half eaten, so. And then taste. It is a two as well. So this overall <laughs> is like a 3.5. <laughs> oh, Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Creaminess. I mean, if you like break it open underneath the shell of cheese and 
behind the breadcrumbs, it's pretty creamy. I'd give it about a five. It's not really the best. It could use a little bit more cheese. So, customer service, I think it was pretty good. It was out pretty fast, but it could have been just because we were the only people in there. I, I think the works came out faster and I we were, so there was a line. Yeah. So kind of. Um, I would give customer service about a five. Um, taste, I'd give it like a 1.5. <laughs> brutally honest <laughs> it's really not the best it mm -hmm. could be a lot better i feel like i'm obligated to eat it because i spent eight dollars so um and then presentation mine wasn't mine wasn't the worst yours presented. looked better than mine it's a little burnt but that's just because it was in the stove yeah i'd give it like a four so i think overall maybe like a three and a half. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was okay, half. but it really not the best. I do. I would not come back here. Yeah, for a place that specializes in mac and cheese, it's really not. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, I didn't expect too much, but I expected right. more. Yes, if you I know agree. what I'm saying. So, on to the next place. Hey guys, <laughs> we're back. Today we're reviewing Popover's mac and Woo. cheese. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it just okay. falls out. <laughs> okay, okay. We're splitting this one because it is extremely expensive. <laughs> I remember this a lot better. <laughs> Okay, we had to make a quit. Uh, someone was videoing us. After that lady so rudely interrupted us. Okay. Hi. <laughs> so, guys, the taste, it's not as good as I remember it. Mm. It's like, I don't know. When I've had it there before, they use shells and it's elbows this time. And it's just like not really as good. It still tastes good, but it's just not the same, you know? Mm -hmm. I'd give it, I'd give it like a seven. I think it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. The creaminess, not very creamy, not very good. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Oh, if it doesn't. Yeah. I'd give it like a five, because mm -hmm. it could be better, but it's fine. Presentation, I think it was a pretty good presentation. I'd give it like a nine. I think it was pretty, pretty breadcrumbs and stuff. Customer service, a little wonky, <laughs> a little weird. Uh, um, I don't know. I'd give it like a seven. Mm -hmm. So overall, I think it's like a seven and a half. Mm -hmm. I'm really disappointed. This used to be my favorite mac and cheese. I don't um, know. All right. So for creaminess like a three there's really not much cream to it I, if it didn't have the breadcrumbs on top it would be not good taste wise it's like a seven it's not mr max but it's not the works so i don't i mean i don't really know and that presentation it could have been better to be honest it, it kind of was just thrown into the good to, i mean it might have been because it was to go um it, probably like a four and then for service, they it took them a while to figure out if we ordered or not. And we had called in, so we definitely ordered. And it, it was kind of an awkward experience. <laughs> that we, again, were like one of the only people in the restaurant. So that was like a four. So, I mean, overall, probably like an eight. Was it? No, 7.5. Yeah. It what was okay. The Could have been a lot better. Definitely could have been a lot better. It was their old what it used to be. I had high expectations. Me too! And they did not meet them. Okay, on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're trying KFC now, and we have two special guests. Oh! Oh, Bavana, a fellow MLR member, and Matteo Carriccio, he is a J1 student. 
this is our KFC. Um, okay. Okay, ready? Okay. Oh god. Ew! Huh. That does not look appetizing <laughs> whatsoever. It just tastes like Kraft. Yeah, it tastes like Kraft mac and cheese. It's not like horrible. Do you guys want to try a bite? Sure. Mm, good. <laughs> <laughs> that was, oh, that was a huge bite too. Ew. Okay. Mhm. Mm just tastes like Kraft mac and cheese. Mhm. Mm and I have not a my baguette. Favorite. Okay. So. So taste. Mm, four because i don't like craft mac and cheese creaminess it is pretty creamy so i would say like a six presentation mm, that's like a two it did not look yummy at all and customer service a 10 because reno from uber <laughs> eats dropped it off <laughs> we love reno okay i would give it like a five for taste it was okay creaminess i think it was pretty good i give it like an eight presentation not there <laughs> like a, like a three or two and a half and customer service 10 out of 10 we love reno 100 percent um no overall probably like a five mm -hmm. it's agree. not the best option but it's better than mr max <laughs> the panera, panera. <laughs> okay Hold on, let me get the baguette down my throat. Oh, it is kind of dry. <laughs> I'm gonna put in Jeopardy music. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Dig in. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. It kind of tastes like the works. It does. Let me taste. It's a little drier though. Yeah, I can tell. It looked like it. Oh, that was a lot. Mmm. <laughs> that was solid. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Um, oh, it's like creamier once you get. Well, yeah. The taste, pretty good. Probably second best. I would say. Like a seven and a half, maybe an eight. Oh my god, it's hot in here. Can you open the windows? Babana! Oh, sorry! <laughs> Creaminess, I'd give it <laughs> like, it's like, okay, I'd give it like a five. Presentation, it was pretty good. I'd give it like a seven. And then customer service, 10 out of 10. We love Reno. Um, so overall, like, an eight and a half like an eight maybe mm. okay so taste i would say like eight i really liked it um and then creamy yeah cre creamy creamy <laughs> creaminess i would say that it was like a six and a half um presentation it looked good like it looked scrumptious so i would say like a six <laughs> and then for customer service, obviously 10 out of 10 because Reno equals life. Yes. <laughs> we love you, Reno. He's watching this. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of our video. We are now going to rank them from best to worst. You can go um, first. Okay. Just like individually? Yes. Okay. My number one was the works 100%. The breadcrumbs made it. My second best was Panera. It was... <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, my second favorite was Panera. Very good. My third favorite... Popovers. I think mm -hmm. it was okay. It definitely could have been a lot better. Fourth, KFC. It just l tasted like Kraft. I'm not a big Kraft fan. And then last place, Mr. Max. Awful. So bad. Gave me a tummy ache. I agree with everything Katrin said. Um, the same. The works is the best. Mr. Mm -hmm. Max is the worst. Never go there. Never. Ever, it's not worth it. Ever. Ever. 
Okay. Thank you guys right. for watching. Thanks for watching. Thank you.